Disclaimer, this channel and all its videos are meant for a PG-13 audience. With that out of the way, enjoy this video. But I'm not too sure how you're all surviving, but about all you getting back home, <laughs> uh, I can't do it. All right, bye everyone. What? I wonder if I'll get in trouble for that. Oh, hey everyone, welcome to another video. So remember when I let a portal into my universe to collab with people? Well, that has led to a lot of Tom's YouTubers just roaming around the place. I've trapped some of them in the white void I used to be in, but some are just roaming around, so... Hey, uh, you know I can get some ice for my tea? Oh, hey Ganon, what's up? Oh, hi Noah Henderson the Tom's fan. One question. There's a door? Uh, yeah? So, you're telling me that there's a door. To a void. Void? What void? Where the heck am I? Where's the door? Where's anything? What the heck? Well, seeing how you're the one who just walked in here, I gotta ask, shouldn't you know? I was just wanting to get some ice for my tea, and I thought this was the door to the cafe. Well, now that you're here, you wanna help with my video? Hmm, that depends. What's the topic? What the hell? Count me in. So here is Thomas and the Magic Railroad manga. This is basically the movie, but the thing that makes it stand out are the illustrations by Tatsuko Yoshi Kobashi. I hope I said that right. Apparently, this person has also done three other comics, such as Thomas Edison and Leonardo da Vinci. The illustrations here are a strange mix between anime and the Thomas TV series models, and they don't blend well. At all. In a way, it looks like they traced the models from the movie, and the faces look literally just like images from the movie. It looks super lazy. Not only that, but some of the faces don't even work that well with the illustrations. I mean, look at this! It looks like something out of Train Z! The humans aren't even in the style of the engines. They're just generic anime humans, and it's really weird seeing them with the model engines. It tries out some motion-styled drawings, which are seen in anime, but when it doesn't have any frames to go with it, it looks really weird on its own. Also, I thought I'd just bring this up, that Lily looks extremely weird. Like, imagine if Lily had an anime girl voice with this design. That would be really awful. And even though the dialogue is in Japanese, from what is seen by the images, I'm pretty sure that the events are the same from the Thomas and the Magic Railroad movie. Some of the characters that were mentioned on the cover don't even appear in this manga. And those characters include Mr. Stone, Patch, Billy Two Feathers, Stacy Jones, and Mutt. Though I would say that Mutt looks the most accurate in this comic. Splatter, Dodge, and Toby don't appear either, even though they're shown in the first few pages in the manga. It's really weird how many characters just don't even appear in the story. Maybe it's because they still wanted people to go see the movie, but it's really weird having these characters appear in the manga, but just not have anything with them in it. So the only characters that appear are Thomas, Percy, Gordon, Henry, James, Birdie, Diesel 10, Lady, Lily, Mr. Conductor, Junior, and most importantly, the lonely truck that for some reason looks really big in this illustration. That lonely truck reminds me that the art style has a strange inconsistency with the engine models. Some of the engines kind of look like the DVD menu sprites, and some of them look like they were ripped off the TV series. Henry is almost incredibly accurate to his TV show model. Look at Birdie here! He's short, stubby, and way too round. And some of the motion illustrations look really weird. Here, it looks like Mr. Conductor has two heads. And in the part when James meets Junior, James's whistle placement looks a little... misfortunate. In this scene, it looks like Junior smoking a cigarette, but it's just his whistle. And in this scene with Mr. Conductor and the sugar, I love how psycho he looks. He looks like he really wants to kill Diesel 10, and that's just really kind of funny. Mr. Conductor has to be my favorite anime human, just because of how funny his illustrations are. Some of these look like just memes just ready to blossom. And that's it. Wait, that's it? Really? Yeah, the story has an ending, but it's really weird. Once Diesel 10 is defeated, that's it. We don't even get to see the boat scene. He's just gone and then the story ends. It's really weird. And with the other scenes of the movie being left out, it feels really incomplete. Almost like there's going to be a sequel to finish the story, but we did not get that, and that stinks. Wait a minute. If this is some sort of weird void, 
then how am I able to breathe? <laughs> curse you inconsistencies. Uh, he'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm gonna go, uh, get him some eyes for his tea. Uh, y yeah. Bye.